Let us continue studying. That is case. Nouns different groups we have learned. What are the different first major groups? Concrete nouns and abstract nouns. Then we have studied what are the different kinds of nouns. Common nouns, proper nouns and collective nouns. Then numbers. Then genders. Now we are studying. We are to study about case. What is case? That is when a noun is said to be in the subject. Noun is considered as a subject. It can be said to be subjective case. And if the noun is uh, considered as object, it can be objective case. And if the noun shows possession, the noun can be in possessive case. And when we the noun is in the form of an addressing, it is the vocative case. So first let us see what is subjective case. Subjective case means when the noun is considered as the subject. For example, Rita met with an accident. In this sentence, who met with an accident? Rita met with an accident. So, Rita, the noun Rita is in the subjective case. Let's see the second sentence. Tom ate an apple. So, what did Tom eat? Tom ate an apple. So, apple, the noun apple is in the objective case. Uh, ap Tom ate an apple. Apple is the object of the subject. So, apple, the noun apple is in the objective case. Next sentence. This is Peter's umbrella. Whose umbrella? Whose? That means it shows possession. The noun shows possession. Peter's. Whose umbrella? Peter's. So the, the noun Peter can be in the possessive case. Now next sentence. Listen to me Mohan. So we are addressing Mohan. So the noun Mohan is in to be in the vocative cases. Children, did you understand about the four different uh, types of cases? Subjective case, objective case, possessive case and vocative case. So, in subjective case, the noun Rita met with an accent. The noun Rita is in the subjective case. Tom ate an apple. Apple is in the objective case. This is Peter's umbrella. Peter's is in the possessive case. And listen to me Mohan. Mohan is in the vocative okay, case. And uh, we have to study the last section of nouns which are at position. Let's study the sentence. Miss Scott, our new teacher is a pleasant person. So, the words our new teacher explains about Miss Scott. How is she? So, Miss Scott, our new teacher is a pleasant person. So we can say these words our new teacher is in a position with the noun Miss Scott. Also Miss Scott is our new teacher. So it is also Miss Scott is in the nominative phrase. Also Miss Scott our new teacher is a pleasant person. So a pleasant person is also in the nominative case because in this sentence both are in the uh, both are in the subjective cases. So we can say Miss Court and a pleasant person. Both the words in the sentences are nominative cases. Okay. So do you understand children what is preposition? Once again, be telling Miss Court, our new teacher is a pleasant person. So. The words our new teacher explains about uh, Miss Scott. So we can say these words our new teacher are in a position with uh, Miss Scott. Also, Miss Scott and a present person both are in the nominative case. Now let's do the exercise. Worksheet first one. Write the kind of each of the following nouns in the given space. Army, 
city, family, kochi, army is collective noun, city, common noun, family, common and collective noun, kochi, proper noun, teacher, common noun, company, collective noun, Indian Ocean, common noun, document, collective noun. Then write C against the countable and U against the uncountable nouns. Now name the gender, write the feminine gender. Children, you try to answer these questions by yourself. The answers will be uploaded through the WhatsApp.